Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna talk to you about how to cut or prune the fig tree. The one I have currently in California. I tried to search before, I couldn't find anything. And I start to harvest today. Uh, as you can see, it's a short like pen like this. So it's, and it's not over yet. It's only one tree over here. And it's not over yet. It's a nice, it's a fresh, right from the tree very delicious sweet and you can do a lot of stuff with this so last year i didn't uh, prune correctly i guess i didn't cut it as much as i like supposed to do and we didn't get much harvest like last year so i mean in previous harvest so i decided to search on youtube and everywhere i couldn't find and uh, i had to decide and do everything on my own so i will show you my own experience and i still have a lot of to go so it should be about three or four basket probably it's a lot of harvest gonna be this year and we still have a lot of and in california the weather is different than what i see on youtube when the professional do this so i'm not professional i just show you with my experience and you can see a lot of branches over here and i'm gonna leave it until i harvest everything for now and um i will show you what i did actually so last year i just cut some of them probably up to here some of them all this like well previous year and we didn't have a good result so last year i decided to change the technique and this year it came out really nicely so that's why i want to share with you what i did and actually it's graph too tall i thought I, I killed it first but i need to get straight to get more over there it's already good so i do like probably harvest in three ways like three times probably during the month because uh it's they keep getting better and better every two three days so i'll show you what i did um correctly i guess as you can see the tree grew up really large i didn't expect as large right now i thought i probably kill it or not I, my neighbors thought probably i kill it they was happy that i kill it probably because i hate this tree so what i did i cut it and i cut it only up to here only like left only the three main um trees only three uh you have one that's fine three it's actually so far a lot but uh here's what i did first you need to cut uh, uh, all the small one out outside this probably not the good idea to put this uh, around your tree because basically it will take a lot of um moisture like but i didn't plan actually to harvest it was not my goal it was more like decorational but now it's just outgrown this plant but back to the tree so i basically cut it about maybe six feet so uh, six feet up like from the root and i cut basically i left only three trees and cut all this uh extra so as you can see it's grew up over here this part this part is brand new and there all of them actually over here you can see it's brand new grew up so next year and over here it's also brand new it's a huge so the i noticed the fig tree has ability to grow they grow like a weed basically as long as you water a little bit, they will grow and they need your sun and water and they will grow crazy. And you're going to get a lot of fruit. So what I did, I just cut it very short, actually. And I cut it some way in, uh, as soon as we get a little bit colder. So all the leaves fall, fall down and I start to cut it. And I basically just trim all extra, all this was last year was about the same length i treat all of them and left it only three main pieces and um 
as you can see it's outgrown now so don't be afraid to cut it don't be afraid and next year probably i will just cut it even shorter probably from here now even shorter because it's growing too fast and too large for me to even to reach it so you can probably cut it shorter even depending on the tree because the tree can get really large and once they are too large not only you're not gonna get good fruit but also it will be very hard to harvest as for me right now to go up i need to get kind of there where it to, like you know and don't be afraid to cut it and i cut it as soon all the leaves fall off and that's in california some other states might be different but that's how i did it and this year we have good harvest i guess uh, the idea is not to be afraid to cut it shorter uh, i would recommend to cut it probably above like about on your height where you can uh, probably if you're like 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 me 511 somewhere that place just cut it don't be afraid leave it three pieces you'll think it will die but actually it will grow in a few months we are gonna be surprised how large the tree will get so don't be afraid to cut the tree but cut it once all the leaves fall off this way well it's in california it's basically in december maybe like november or february depending on the location of california because in california weather also different we have cold weather some places some places is warm i am southern california so we are getting like a little bit warmer so that's how i did my tree cutting and it's actually out oh look on this butterfly it's huge beautiful so that's how i did it and i get good results i think if you are in colder weather you might start to do it earlier but again um, not only you will uh, have better results with harvest once you cut it when you trim it like i did it's already third like jelly grass it's huge and you're gonna get really nicely harvest and also the tree will not get as large because if it's too large you're losing the control of it you don't get nice fruits a lot of animals will come will eat everything end up on the floor the floor will get messy then you're gonna have a large tree useless and also a lot of mess thank you guys for watching i hope you have a nice harvest next year as well and i'll see you in the next video bye